What are multiplication and division? Multiplication is putting equal groups together. Here I have three pom-poms, and I have it four times. This is the multiplication problem, three times four. To solve this problem, I need to take the pom-poms out of their groups and put them all together. Altogether, I have 12 pom-poms. Three times four equals 12. So what's division? Division is separating objects into equal groups. This time, I'm starting with 12 pom-poms, and I'm dividing them up into four groups, 12 divided by four. To do this, I'll put one pom-pom in each group to make sure I keep the same number in all four groups. The answer is the number of pom-poms in each group, three. So 12 divided by four is three. Multiplication and division are opposites. When you multiply, you know the number of groups and the number of objects in each group. You're trying to find the total number of objects, the big number. When you divide, you know the total number of objects, the big number, and one of the smaller numbers. This is called factors. You're trying to find the other small number, the other factor. Let's try multiplying using pom-poms. We'll multiply three times five. So I have three groups with five pom-poms in each group. To figure out the answer to this multiplication problem, I need to take the pom-poms out of their groups and put them together to find the total number of pom-poms like this. Now I can see that I have 15 total pom-poms, which is the answer to my multiplication problem. Three times five is 15. Another way to look at this is to start with five groups and put three pom-poms in each group. Once again, I need to take all of the pom-poms out of their groups to find the total number of pom-poms, and that is the answer to my multiplication problem. And once again, the answer is 15. Now let's try dividing using the pom-poms. We're going to do 15 divided by five. So this time I'm starting with 15 pom-poms. I'm starting with the big number and I'm going to divide them up into five even groups. And to make sure I keep them even, I think about it like dealing cards. So I'm gonna put one pom-pom in each group and I'm gonna keep going around, dealing out one pom-pom at a time until I'm all out of pom-poms and all five of my groups have the same number. Now I can see that each group has three pom-poms. That is the answer to our division problem. 15 divided by five equals three. Another way to look at this division problem is to once again start with 15 pom-poms, but this time make groups of five. How many groups of five can I make? I can make three groups of five pom-poms. The answer is three. Let's review. When we multiply, we have equal groups and we are taking the objects out of their groups to figure out the total number of objects. The big number is the answer to the multiplication problem. Three times five is 15. When we divide, we start with the big number and we are dividing them up into equal groups. The number of items in each group is the answer to the division problem, three. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Check the link in the video description for lesson materials that go along with this video, and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.